So today we're going to be starting to put together Rumpel's Bioactive. So you can see I've got the enclosure here and I've got backgrounds and sides done and this little wood thing sticking out. It didn't end up looking as good as I had hoped and then I got covered in silicone and dirt but it is what it is. Okay so things we are working with I've got some let's move this stuff out I've got our substrate, so I've got my um, general bioactive mix, my DIY mix, top soil and sand, and then you mix some other stuff. So I've got some jungle mix and some ABG mix from Josh's Frogs and some moss. I've got some cork bark, some rocks, this other wood, some plants, and yeah, we're gonna see what we come up with. Wood. I kind of like that, although that would mean only one. No. I like that. I do also like park bark. Could I do both? I feel like both would look weird. There. Now I gotta put in our isopods and springtails. So I get my springtails from Josh's frogs and just culture them in here. And then my orange isopods that I got off of eBay, which are all in there. You can see them running around. Alright, so this is it for now. Gonna let the plants root, let the ice buds and springtails get situated. I want to get maybe like some bromeliads or something for back here because it's just so plain and empty. Hide some of the mess ups. Um, and yeah, once Rumple's a little bigger, we'll stick him in. So today's the day we're going to move Rumpel into his big boy enclosure. He hasn't gotten too much bigger, but he's gotten longer. Um, and I'm bringing up my new enclosures, so there's not really room for his tub anymore. So he might as well go into his enclosure. So it's a little different from the last time you guys saw it. Um, I still have these two plants. The other one's died. But I've got this big bird's nest fern back here. This pothos back here. Um, this plant is starting to come back. I neglected it for a little bit there and this Janet Craig, and we added a whole lot of cork bark for hiding, so I don't have to have any ugly, chunky hides. He's got tons of cork bark to hide under. Very natural looking, I love it. So, so my hope is that this pothos continues to grow really well, grows up, and then I can wrap it around this tree back here um, to try to give it a little something something. But yeah, so we're gonna move him over. Very humid in your enclosure. 
that you're happy boy. So I just put in his water dish, so I'll fill it after I put him in. I emptied it so I could just put it in here. Empty, clean, put it in. And now we're gonna put him in. Hopefully he doesn't try to bite me again. Here he goes. Here you go, buddy. So he's been on paper towel um, since I got him. So he's filling his substrate again. He is bioactive. We've got all our plants, our cleanup crew. Are you really going to go berry already? I just put you in and I don't get to even enjoy seeing you in it because you're going to go berry. So I forgot to film an outro and now I'm at work. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video as always. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next couple upgrades I'll be uploading. And then our room tour. So exciting. Alright, we'll see you guys later.